What else could he be but a jester? jester. Hey there, everybody. This is Jester of None, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. It took me a second there. So let's get started. That was weird. Just before the game started, I guess I hadn't initialized all of the all of the stuff that we had done. Uh, so it thought that we had no food, no oxygen, nothing. But now it seems we've realized and things are going better. So um, last time we were here, we were talking about the importance of oxygen pressure. And we were talking about it a lot because it's something very important to me insofar as <laughs> I've never succeeded with it before. Now, the thing I'm noticing is we've got carbon dioxide stuck up here because of the angle of, or the shape of this room rather. So that needs to be fixed. And then what else? Well, I've got a similar problem here, but it's okay. This should do with this could do with taking out, and let's do that next actually, because the auction isn't a big enough deal that we need to worry about that. So I tell you what, let's set that to be taken out now. It's an unnecessary amount of stuff here, everything apart from that, and uh, mm, I'm not going to touch this now because I don't. Oh, I should also cancel that as well. No, don't dig them up. Don't dig them up. Cancel. That's ridiculous. Why would that tell? Okay, well, fine. These should really not be treated like normal plants. I'm not, I wasn't trying to dig them up. That's okay though, just taking a little bit of fixing. Perfect. Um, yes, this stuff is unnecessary. And I can replace this with some tile now. There you go. And I may as well do the same thing on the other side, but it's not, we're not quite there yet for that. No briar seeds for there. I don't know if you can produce other briar seeds. I can also dig out this, but it might be a little bit too far away. Maybe I'll need to put a ladder to there might be able to do it from there how is that how is that awful picture affecting the decor pretty nice or decor i guess i think the, this will be more attractive when the when the flower has grown i guess maybe hopefully we'll see i'm quite happy with how things are looking so far i mean we've got oh yes we've got to set up here to dig let's get that dug that should work i mean i'm okay with digging this out we've still got enough calories that we don't have to worry about every single plant we have so um that's probably fine, actually. You know what? Let's just take that to dig. And then we've got one more seed for the future as well, which is nice. And they should get going on that pretty soon. Oh, that's for the algae. The uh, conversion of, ox of carbon back to oxygen is actually working out pretty well. The oxygen density down here is the highest in any place, I think. That's, this is 1,600 and this is 2,000. And that's pretty impressive as well because this is uh, oxalite up here. Should be keeping this at quite high pressure. So I'm pretty happy with that situation. I'm going to go ahead and prioritize these a little bit just to, to get this carbon moving. Because I don't like the idea of, um, yeah, 1,000 grams of carbon dioxide just sitting around at the top of our base. Uh, we'll need to break into here at some point soon. I'm just thinking a little bit about um, our next move. There's a lot of algae here that we could use, and I think I'm probably going to be digging out into there anyway eventually. So, um, yeah, we'll probably end up going over there in a little while. But I want to get the base sort of more finished looking soon. I believe, yep, that's the last of the basic research. So now we can go on to sanitation sciences which means we'll be able to filter our air and we'll be able to put in the shower and the stuff like this, the stuff that we need up there. But first, because I need to just check, we need to, in order to do this research, we need to build a science station, a supercomputer. This here then is research. The plant in it is a little bit of a problem, but it's still fine. I'm going to put this here, which is where the research will eventually go. It's a little bit, it looks a little bit weird. This is where the floor will eventually be, I believe, right? Because it's, it's exactly the right height. It should be exactly the right height for a research table. Yeah, that's fine. I might have to destroy that plant there. It's a shame. I'll put that there for now so I don't have to destroy any plants. And I'll have to run it power. Temporary power, though, I think. Like, I'm, I'm going to change the power systems pretty soon. It's not great, this system here, setting up like this. But it'll work. Are these harvestable? Oh, they're harvestable. Let's harvest that and get the food. Great. I'm sh I figured that this one would be harvestable. I don't know if they grow faster in pots. It does seem like when they're in a pot, they grow much faster. So um, that's pretty effective, actually. I'm going to put this all up in priority. There you go. Just because this is rather important. Okay, here we are. They're, they're, they're doing it now. Because I really do need to get this sanitation research done. Because otherwise things could, could start to get a little bit messy. Uh, I'm going to set this immediately to... Oh, it needs energy before I can set that. That's fine. Then this needs to be prioritized as well. There we go. Now I can do this. I really think this should be able to fabricate uh, low-level research as well, so that I can use two of these instead of one of these and one of these. But that's fine. And we should get some research done here. How much meal lice do we get in the end then? Not really as many calories of food as I was kind of hoping. I guess it'll pick it up soon. Yeah, okay. I mean, it worked. But we need more, obviously. And as soon as we're getting some more oxygen production, I think I will end up making more. Yeah, as soon as we're getting some oxygen production, a little bit more than what we have now, as soon as we're probably as well clearing out this 
contaminated gas because it's a little bit much yeah 1200 yeah 1000 it's 146 yeah it's getting a bit a little much so as soon as we've cleared out that i'll probably put in the second layer here which is where food goes and that'll be a little bit nicer do need to sweep here sweeping is very important there you go i'll put it at an eight because then the decor will be a little bit nicer yeah I, this is what i thought they can't actually reach there let's put this like this and maybe they can get up and i can destruct this there you go and i'm not far away from from taking this out and putting it here either i just want to don't want to harm our food which is still growing oh see i didn't realize there was a certain amount of harvest you could do with them like there's only two more harvests of this stuff left so you only get about uh, three thousand calories for every one of these you plant but it's put us up in a good food situation anyway i just need to dig this out how did the how did the carbon dioxide problem end up it does okay it has all flowed down yeah and there's now 2,000 grams of, it, of carbon dioxide in this area so it definitely worked and these just these two algae terrariums are really helping us they're really working out quite well they're, they're going to get this done first they're going to do these this picking up of stuff first let's probably dig that out and then they'll move on to to building this area because i put really high value or really high status on cleaning up because of the fact that it really changes the decor level or i believe that it changed the decor level actually it, it seems to have helped maybe only a little bit <laughs> I don't really know. Um, oh, lighting. Yes, lighting is a thing I was also going to put in because I got these ceiling lights and never actually used them. It does take power, but um, I can't put one there yet. Can't put one there yet either. It does take power, but it does seem to help. Um, when I move this battery, I will put one there. And maybe I w this won't have cabling for a while. Or maybe I'll just put the cabling in and if they build it, they build it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's run these cables. There you go. And then down here as well, all the way across. Ah, right. Let's check this out. Any new interesting duplicates? Athletics 11. Gosh, I'd love to take him on, but he's got, firstly, he's got two negative traits, which well, the loud sleeper is the biggest problem. The small blood is not a big deal. He's got very high expectations and he is a vomiter. So Nicola, I'm sorry, but it's a no-go for you. Anemic. Actually, I haven't seen that one before. Ah, can't run. That's fine. I mean, no, it's not fine. I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being anemic, but it's not helpful in this game. And... An uncultured yokel. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, but you, there's no point you having this stat. Everything else is kind of wasted. Okay, none of these guys are good enough. I'm very sorry. Off you go. Stick with three for now. No big deal. I think when I get a good painter, I can have these redone by the painter. And I think I actually might have a good artist. One, zero, zero. Okay, they're probably, probably as good as they were ever going to be. Oh, there you go. They're getting this done already. That's great. I must have a lot of copper. Oh, why is there so little edible food now? I guess they've all eaten. Where's it? There's... There's almost no food left. They have eaten so much food. Doesn't that seem crazy? Maybe it's because it's all cleared away and it doesn't count food that's in there. I tell you what, let's, um, now is the time to harvest this. There you go. We've got that to harvest as well. Harvest from these things will be faster now, but I still definitely need to plant a whole lot more of them. And that'll be right. There's one more layer here, which I believe is the mess hall. And then food goes down here. So we'll be there pretty soon. And then I'll end up moving the algae down to here. And that's the end of our base, roughly here-ish. And I'll get rid of the water soon as well. I'll put it in here as a storage tank. I should really also connect this to power. I should actually just run wiring. Maybe it's a waste of copper. But I should run wiring in all of these places that will eventually have wiring. I can destruct this. I don't know why this is even here. I, I remember I remember putting I remember putting that one there. Oh, that's not good. There you go. I remember putting that one there. And saying, I'll just put this here. I, I saw it in the video while I was editing it. And thought, why the hell did I do that? That serves nothing, that stupid ladder. But oh well. Um, they'll hopefully dig this out soon. Maybe this one will be reachable when they get there. Otherwise, they'll have to destroy this crude painting. Which would not be that big of a loss, honestly. There you go. And that'll connect that to power. That's fine. And then we'll have lighting here. But we'll use power a lot faster. This doesn't need research anymore. Are you... Are you sciencey? Oh, you are sciencey. I thought sciencey was a woman. Or I thought sciencey had long hair, at least. So that's fine. There, this is actually going surprisingly well for this for now i keep saying that because it's always surprisingly well for me because i always do at least reasonably badly if oh there's a briar seed there let's uh let's harvest those uh no let's uh sweep those actually is what you're supposed to do there you go i think i might need to sleep on, on higher priority though otherwise i'll never get done there you go just because then i can plant the briar seed that's supposed to be in here because the decor in this area is gradually improving i think the light will improve it although I guess it's got to grow, right? Is it? Because it's not actually grown. This one's grown. This one here. I don't know what needs to be done. Oh, it's awaiting delivery. They still haven't been delivered. Why is that? Let's put these to, to high status. 
Those were the seeds up there. That those seeds were those were the okay. Well, I can <laughs> I understand now. And now the decor is pretty nice, especially when the lighting's in as well. That'll be pretty good. Okay. Well, that was a bit of a revelation for me personally. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I'll start digging the food layer, but I'm I'm really nervous about the oxygen situation. It's still going okay in terms of um, it's still going okay in, in terms of uh, carbon dioxide. I think maybe soon we should add a second uh, algae. I mean. I don't actually know how much algae we have. I should probably check that. Organic, algae. We've got enough algae for now. We'll be fine for algae for at least a little while. But uh, what concerns me is firstly food. And then secondly, contaminated oxygen. But that's what we're work working towards now. We're actually two points away from the, the sanitation services, which is pretty good. So I tell you what, let's get sanitation services ready by digging up this. Because I think this needs to be three high. And that will also give us the copper. I don't know why I dug that first out there, because that's supposed to be like this. There you go. And I should also destroy this, because I don't need it. And then it's a nice night for these guys. Oh, did I finish my research? I did finish my research. I don't know how I didn't notice that. That's good. So, air deodorizer actually doesn't need any power, which is always a surprise to me. If I stick this here, things will all be okay. Oh, that's a nice relief. Oh, it would also help if I cleaned up this contaminated dirt, because that's causing problems. There you go. I put it on high priority. Obviously, nothing's going to happen until morning, but at least the problem will go away-ish soon. Soon-ish, rather. And I think, actually, what I'm going to do is airlock here, build in... Yeah, build in this tile. Actually, I need to build in these tiles, too. There you go. Um, and then I'm going to construct... I'll have to run power up here, too. I guess that's not a big deal. I'll run power up here. And this is going to be a temporary construction, since I have the ability to, to suck oxygen now. Or maybe I should do this once... This is the last stage we need in this area, I think. What I'll do, here's what I'll do. Okay, I got it, I got it. The batteries, the battery storage rather, is going to be here. If I enclose this area, then I won't ever have to pierce this pocket again. And what I'm going to, that sounds weird, pierce this pocket. What I'm going to do is pump out all the air with a gas pump. I believe I can do this. Oh, that's a liquid valve. Gas pipe. There you go. To here. Put that to there. And uh, I think it should have power in a second. Oh, no, I've got a, got a, I haven't run the cable to it at all. There you go. And then that is power. I think that should be everything needed apart from a ladder. And then when it's completely devacuumed, I will tell them an order. I'll give them an order to go in here and uh, sort this all out. But there's still other things they need to do, I think, right now. Yeah, they're still filling in some of the wire. That's interesting, though. Why isn't there electricity there? This runs all the way around. Oh, bugger. I didn't put power actually going to this. I just put a, put it above the block. I feel like that should be intuitive, but like that should do it itself maybe, but um, stuff happens. There you go. Pretty good job of doing that. I'm just going to I'm just gonna set this to be dug out because it's annoying me them watching them climb over it every single time. Perfect. Did they sweep up that poo? They did. Oh, we can check out our, our contaminated oxygen now. Oh, it's working. As soon as this drifts past this area, if it doesn't drift past, I'll just pick it up and move it somewhere else. So the idea here is that there's a lot of oxygen in here, or a thousand kilograms per block, and it doesn't need to be there. This can just be a vacuum. In fact, it might even help if this is a vacuum because that'll insulate the batteries, which will produce a lot of heat. So um, I don't. I can just create an airlock here, make sure there's no gas flowing in between this, suck out all the oxygen, have someone go in there holding their breath, dest and destroy all this, and then uh, everything is good to go. I mean, we'll lose a little bit of oxygen in the end when they come out. There'll be a tiny amount of oxygen in this room, but it's not a big deal. I'm rather happy with this idea, actually. I mean, there'll always be a gas pipe in here because of the way I've built it. There'll always be a gas pipe going through this wall. I'll never be able to take it out without destroying... Like, I mean under here. I think I can just show you. I mean under here. There'll always be this gas pipe here because I can't destroy individually the gas pipe, only the tile. Oh, I can if I click on it. Right? Ah, oh, I can. Okay, great. That's, that's really wonderful. I always thought that you had to destroy the tile in order to... Let's just stop this from working for a second. Because I'd really rather they didn't... Um... Okay, they're already doing it. He's already doing it. That's fine. <laughs> they're just going to be in there. Oh, no, they're good. They've turned it off. I just need them to finish this first. I'm going to put this on uh, priority of nine. There we go. Just so that, you know, it's all done for the future. This should be airtight now. Yeah, this should be airtight. There's a lot of oxygen trapped in there, but not so much that it'll be a problem. And then I can just enable this building. And we're good to go. And the, the auction, the airlock seals itself pretty quickly so that in the end, 
this will work quite well. I'm, I'm actually quite looking forward to, to having this work. I don't know if it's quite good enough to make its own uh, to, to make its own little vacuum. I don't know if the pumps can do that. Like theoretically, you should have to pressurize them a lot more. Uh, I don't know whether that's true actually. I don't know how it works, but it's definitely getting lower and lower. This is a rather exciting process to watch for me. I hope it's exciting for you too, or at least vaguely interesting. Okay, cycle eleven is done. I actually don't look at these reports very often, but um, there's a net loss of calories. That's to be expected. Oxygen net loss, but I'm, I'm assuming that we're producing carbon dioxide well enough, or we're, we're converting carbon dioxide well enough that things aren't quite being accurately reported in that aspect. We will see. But uh, otherwise, things have sort of gone well. You know? I mean, yeah, I, I, without necessarily paying much enough attention to, to those statistics, I think that it worked out okay. Oh, he's got no power. Okay, we run out of power. That's what's happening. We've run out of power. So that is a sign saying new batteries are needed. And that means building a temporary access to this area. I mean, I wish I could have done it without popping this vacuum because it kind of like makes it pointless to have to have done this. I can do the same thing over there, actually. I probably will do the same thing over there. I'll pump out all the gas, close off the room, destroy the gas thing and then build back to the base. But let's just make sure that this one works first while people are getting on with other stuff. I also haven't set any other research. What is the most ne the next most important thing? It is probably... There you go. Let's go to advanced filtration. We need all the things in this line, or most of them anyway. So let's go straight to advanced filtration. Um, or maybe we should at least just do percolation. Because I don't think there's anything we desperately need. We could use the food stuff, but we don't desperately need it for now. We'll never need combustion. I don't expect to be using it. Most of this stuff we can live without with, uh, without of. Apart from maybe the thermoregulator. Yeah, I mean, I think that's probably fine. The thermoregulator might be quite useful soon, I believe, because I'm hoping to cool gas into this room. We will see what I end up doing about that. How is this area doing? It looks like it is slowly becoming a vacuum. I mean, the oxygen at, this, at the edges especially. Here it's, it's a vacuum already because it's sucking out the gas that's next to it, which is a bit strange. It's getting it's getting there. I believe it's getting there, which is upping the, the, the density in here, I believe. Good to keep an eye on this. It looks like it's working okay. We're getting at, we're getting oxygen back from our algae terrarium, so it's working out okay down here. I'm just... Oh, I should harvest. I'm just, you know, nervous to make sure that nothing goes wrong, basically, because we're getting to kind of a crucial point where we're, we're sort of moving into the future of, uh, of this base. I'm doing my best not to mess things up at the last, or at this, this moment. But currently, you know, we've got a reasonable amount of food. We've got more coming. The food we have is enough for the, is enough, you know, for the time it takes to grow more food, which actually works out pretty well. Uh, but we could use some more. There you go, back up to 10,000, and we'll have a little bit more by the end of it. So it works out pretty well, but still, things could go wrong so easily, so quickly. So, um, you know, I'm just going to do my best. They've only got one harvest remaining, though, so really... I should, this is, what was this? This is supposed to be, there's one layer below this. I don't want to place any more temporary food. I believe, I believe that this is the food layer. I mean, four won't hurt. Let's put it at four. Wow, that's a mess. There we go. That should be the food layer. I'll leave this hole for now. We'll, we'll fix it in a bit, but it's not, it's not where the hole's supposed to be. And I'll just check the width of this area. So... This is for power. I've got one there. That would mean the next one is here. And then, wait. The next one is here. And the next one is there. So the last space in here should be this wall. Double check quickly because uh, sometimes I, I check and then I immediately forget. Yeah. Okay. That's the wall. That's where our wall is. I'm going to forget about this piece of oxygen. This little bit of oxygen here. I will probably drain this area actually because it's, it's easy to drain this bit. So um, you know what? I'll probably just get this seed as well. Because it's never yielded anything. I'm going to get that seed. And then I'll drain this area. And that can go to... This can go to here. And then the new ladders go in the corners. And then this only needs to be three high. I will not touch the oxalite still. Because it's still there. It's still doing its job. So why would I? I will also... There you go. Move that. And this doesn't change much. The Well, I guess there's a little bit of change. I might actually have to produce oxygen now. We'll see. I mean, 1,000, 1,000. It does seem like we're losing a lot of oxygen. Okay, well, let's do this in the right order. First, I'm going to put this air deodorizer here. We do seem to get getting a little bit. None of these have... None of these have uh, contaminated... They have! They've got contaminated dirt. There's only supposed to be one place for contaminated dirt. This is my bad. I should have organized the, this better. But I'm just going to make sure that all of these have no contaminated dirt in them. 
because that is why we've got such a problem with it's a good job i noticed this it's such a problem with um contaminated oxygen because they're not all going in the right place so let's sweep this on extremely high priority there you go and that should be a bit better because this should be the only one putting out contaminated oxygen and that one should be captured pretty quickly by the air deodorizer okay let's check out our duplicates dimensionally adept is not that big of a deal six digging and six medicine this guy is this guy's a no this guy's an absolute no because of the, the loudspeaker the irritable bowel these things are very unhelpful destructive is fine but he's also got a very high decor expectation and I don't really need... He's got less athletics than my current athletics. So I'm going to get a new digger. Not necessarily that useful, but um, he's still pretty good. Let's call him... Um, so we've got Diggy. Let's call him Miney. I don't know, because he's also a medicine guy. I don't know. Um, Dr. Doctor Miney, because otherwise he'll get confused. I'll be confused between the two Diggies. Dr. Miney... Um, I don't know why I've got Scrooge in my head. Scrooge. Scrooging crap. Dr. Miney Scrooging crap. Kind of lost my mind on that one a bit. Okay. This is our fourth duplicate, which will help us out a little bit. Calories will be used a lot faster, but, you know, it's one more guy to do one more bit of work and to get a little bit stressed. He came out stressed. He came out of the bloody womb stressed. I already don't like him. I already regret taking him. He has gone down by 3%, though. That's nice. This light thing is working out well. How's the decor? Well, I guess the lighting is like that, but how's the decor now? Green. There's a lot of green decor here. I'm quite happy with that. That's working out quite attractively. And this is slowly coming down. I guess it takes a long time to make a, a vacuum. So I'll just leave this going for a long time. And it'll probably be okay. I'm going to go ahead and lay out. Oh, bugger. Look at that. I didn't set up these edges right. So we're going to break the vacuum eventually. I have to send someone in there to do this. That's not going to work for me. Because I want it to line up. I want it to line up, all right? I'm a little bit crazy in that respect. I want this to line up properly, and it's not. So, because this, this is the edge of the base, you know, right? We'll see what we can do. Uh, there's still a lot of oxygen here. Oh, I guess we just released some oxygen into the room. I wonder if maybe we need a second pump, or... Is there such a thing as a pump pressurizer? Let me, let me check the research. Right, doesn't it seem like in pressure management? No, that's just a liquid valve, gas valve. There's no such thing as a pump pressurizer, so it must just take a little bit longer to do it, but it will eventually make a a vacuum. So I guess I'll just leave it going for the rest of eternity. I mean, yeah, it's working. Just a bit off. Oh, <laughs> I realized I put all this in in a sort of like planning way, but I never actually set any of it to be dug. So there you go. There's some digging doing. And so these are the two... Oh, no, there's not. I'm missing a level of food. Let's go down one more. This doesn't need to be that low. Okay, and I've used up all of our sandstone doing that, apparently. Okay, this oxygen deodorizer seems to be working. Got a lot less here, but it's still here. It'll probably eventually go. And pressure is still okay-ish. Oh, gosh, no. Pressure's looking quite low, isn't it? Well, that's a bit disturbing. Where's the oxygen going? I guess some of it is converted into, into toxic gas. Other isn't. Maybe now is the time when we will need to have... Yeah, okay. Let's put in some algae production, some uh, oxygen production, something I tend to avoid because I feel like it is a waste. I'm just connect connecting these like that for now, just so it's connected. And we'll put in some algae production. I agree that algae production isn't better. In fact, I agree with myself. I am the one who said it, but probably other people have said it too. But it is also true and a simple fact that if you lose pressure, you lose pressure. I don't actually quite know where it's gone. Like, I don't quite know where all the oxygen's gone other than becoming carbon dioxide. Although there is quite a large concentration down there, so maybe that's just it. But still not enough to reduce the, 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 the concentration this much. Maybe it just goes after a while. Like, if you go too long, it'll just eventually disappear. Assuming it's that, when we need, we need algae production, or uh, oxygen production, rather. And we've got, in total, I love that you can see total of everything in all storage enough algae to be working with and there's more algae here and we'll probably start converting some from slime as soon as we've got things sort of built out a bit more so it's okay-ish you know not great but okay-ish i'm actually just realizing that this area will be used for something soon so it might not be even worth pumping the gas out i guess for now for allowing us to yeah in order to allow us to keep going it might be sensible to pump the gas out of there for the sake of keeping up pressure in here i think yeah, let's leave it going. I realize now it's not, strictly speaking, necessary, but it's still useful. And the oxygen in here is not that useful. I'm looking for high-density contaminated oxygen. That's chlorine. Don't go near that. There's some pretty high-density contaminated oxygen up there, but still not a huge, a huge, not a huge enough amount that it matters a lot to me. Oh, well. Let's let them sleep. Uh, batteries is obviously becoming a problem. Food will obviously be a problem pretty soon. This guy needs harvesting. How much do you get from these? 
you get 1,000 calories. Do they grow faster? Ah, this one needs fertilizer. Okay, we won't have much fertilizer in the future, so I'm going to stick for now. It grows faster. It's less calories, I think, and it needs fertilizer, so I think this is better. It doesn't grow for as long, and you only get three harvests, whereas this one you get five. I think in the long run, uh, bristle blossom is a better off, is a better choice. But I'm going to stick with the, I'm going to stick with these guys. Oh, who's suffocating where? Who's suffocating where? Show me the suffocation. Oh God! Oh God! Why are you stuck? How are you stuck? What's happening? How are you... How are you... This is a big problem. I hope that they will immediately start building. No, no. Build the thing that allows you to get out of there. I don't want you to just die. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh my god. Bloody idiots. Ble well, I'm, I guess I'm the idiot. Uh, I will need to move this down though because our carbon dioxide is going to move down to there. It's a good job I started producing oxygen when I did because things looked like they were getting a bit dire. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ladder. I'm going to up the value, the priority of this one here and get this taken care of. And then I will move the algae to there. For now, temporarily speaking, why can't I produce more of this? What do I need? I haven't got <laughs> I haven't got enough sandstone. Oh, God. Uh, this is where things start to get tricky. But this is sandstone. Dig out this then. Come over here. Dig out this. Yeah? Look at that. Sandstone. All that. Sandstone. You can dig out this too. Sandstone. Wow, they're not having a good time there. I'd really like it if you swept up this contaminated dirt. Thank you very much. There you go. That's That sort of fixed that problem a little bit. We do need tiles under this because the, the, the carbon is still a problem. Carbon dioxide is still a problem. Um, go on. Go over here and I'll prioritize this. Trouble is, they're not going to get around to it for a long time because... Oh no, they're doing it now. That's fine. I thought because I did it so everything else was nine as well. You idiot! You idiot McBunkle... F What's your name? Drumple Schnoo. Oh, I like Diggy though. He's, he's basically a good guy. Apart from that he trapped himself in an toxic environment because he's an idiot. That's fine though. They're all doing it. It seems to be a fashion. I will build more algae now. I think this is the time when more algae is necessary. Look at the density of this carbon dioxide down here. Oh, it's actually not that dense at all. Oh, it's gotten way better, but maybe that's because the pressure's going back up. I've, I've no idea. I've no idea. At some points I think, oh, I make this game makes sense to me now. I understand what I need to do to make things okay. But you idiot. Can someone just like slap me? Because this is really stupid. <laughs> stupid idiot. Let's get rid of this. I'll put it back later. Oh my god. Because it's just sucking up the gas. It's just sucking gas out of this area. And because it's low pressure, the gas is moving really quickly to here. That is so phenomenally foolish. Like, it's just, the gas is just moving around in a circle like this. What a waste of power. At least I caught it eventually. But still. I should put it on mine, otherwise it'll never get done. They're not trapped, are they? I have to keep checking they're not trapped because they, they will eventually trap themselves and it will be a bad thing. I'll move the algae to here now and I'll put four down because this is now the lowest point of our base and they should also be quite highly prioritized. And then that'll be pretty good. What's wrong with that? Gash, uh, gas overpressurized? Oh, I see there's too much pressure in this place for gas to come through. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought that was possible, especially given that the pressure is not that high over here. Maybe we need two pumps. That would seem to make sense. Because there's nothing... This is what I'm worrying. I'm wondering about. There's nothing that says, like, pressurizer. Liquid valve. No, nothing that says pressurizer. So I guess it's just, you know, a matter of adequate pumping. Maybe this is a wasted uh, a waste of time. I'm, I'm going to leave it doing what it's doing. And as much as I can, I'll, I'll let it vent. I'll let this keep going and uh, we'll see what happens. But when they fill in this hole, it'll certainly be a lot more productive. Because currently it's just doing a lot of stupid nonsense. This is also a good thing to do, by the way, because we have been running out of uh, materials for quite a while. Because, like, we've been using up materials, building, and never replacing them, unfortunately. I should place that so that we don't... Well, okay, that's temporary. It'll be, it'll be fixed. Mess hall, and then this here is... Um, who made a mess where? You, knob! Why did you... Right, yeah, the, to <laughs> the toilet's not accessible. Okay, I mean, I forgive you now. Now that I know the situation, I forgive you. In fact, none of this area is accessible. Well, okay. This is my fault. I am expanding too quickly, which is causing problems. 
but I do need you to mop this up. Even though it was my fault, I do need you to mop this up right now. This area, also not accessible. And you fall and sleep in carbon dioxide, which was a very bad idea. Okay, let's get the night finished. Let's try and make things back up to being okay. Food's still okay, which is one of the few things that is okay. Although, what just happened there? The pressure's too low. What's the pressure like? The pressure's pretty fine to me. Oh, some bloody low pressure. Right, that's a bit weird. The pressure in this game works a little bit differently because some low pressure-ish carbon dioxide must have floated over it and caused it to think there was no pressure. Or it could have just been the end of that guy's cycle. Power is becoming an issue. We're also getting a bit of lag, which is strange. Oh, I'm just not used to it. It's not strange, actually. A lot of games have lag. Things should probably start warming up a little bit now. I'd like you to build... Okay, they've, they've probably got access to the toilets, or roughly. Let's just put some high priority on this. That's a little bit better. Okay, the situation is reasonably dire, but not bad enough that we can't get out of it. In fact, I'm almost certain that we're, we're on the right track, and we're going to be in a much better situation soon. We just need to build this food down here, and then the food sorted, we need to build batteries up here and replace these with the, the There's actually supposed to be six generators running all of this. So um, once we get those six in there, it'll be much better. So we will... I'm just going to put this here, actually. I just noticed that, uh, that they couldn't actually get to this to build it. And then I'll delete it afterwards. Okay. I'm sure that we can get, our, get ourselves out of this and that it'll work fine in the long run. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. This has been Jester of None. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Auction Not Included. Things have gone up, things have gone down, but in the long run, I think they'll be okay. This wasn't connected to wire. Let's just connect that wire back up and it'll be done in time for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.